What's up, y'all? Shigeru saying I'm back with another video. So, Armand had a mukbang and his food was Blue Jam Cafe. Let's get into some of the topics and stuff he discussed in his mukbang. You know, y'all ready? Why that word sound weird right now? That's like one of the weirdest words, I promise y'all. But, um, he spoke a lot on being independent. You feel me? And one of his things, like his first question was like, you know, how are you so independent? But, like, you know, how do you allow other people to like help you out in our money? Like, you know, you struggle with that because sometimes. I'm going to say this. I'm not like, I'm not an independent artist, but sometimes you just do things yourself because you know you can get it done right in the way you want it to. But he was like, you know, he got to focus on relying on the other people that he pays. And that's understandable. But like our money said, you know, if I'm doing it myself, I know it's getting done right in and, and the time frame I want it in. So I 100% understand that. You feel me? But the food looked like it was banging, bro. Like, oh man. Our mom be getting all the good food spots. And then a, a topic, I'm skipping around, but one of, another topic was, uh, the tweet was like, I feel like the backlash you get it from the unknown relationship, from the unknown status of your relationship is hindering you. And I'm like, yeah, um, my opinion, this is my opinion before I get to what he said. Let me get to my opinion real quick. I don't feel like it's hindering him and I definitely don't feel like it's backlash. Honestly, I feel like pe it's people being nosy, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of eyes on him. So, of course, like, yo, it's a lot of eyes on him. People tuning in. So, I feel like it's more attention towards him. It's a reason for him to work harder because it's like, oh, y'all want to see something. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm not saying that's his mentality, but that's, like, my opinion on the situation. Like, I'm not like, oh, y'all y'all watching. Like, y'all want to see what's going on over here. Let me show y'all something to see. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. His opinion on it, though, was, like, it's not hindering him. Bro said he ain't worried. His numbers is up. And like I said, it's people being nosy. Like, you know, he's a celebrity. People always go want to know what's going on in his life. So, therefore, why not get on something else to see? I'm just saying. You feel me? But um, another one of the questions was, how do you be positive in this chaotic world? Once again, my opinion first. This world is definitely chaotic. Like Armand said, you know, she's like at an all-time high. But it just be like, my three reasons... For real it's like he said i agree there are more trolls but people are just more gullible now you know what i'm saying they take something and run with it they see one tweet and run with it like that's just what it is um more social media platforms because what's the new thing threads so just more social media platforms it's that social media platforms getting bigger so more space for you to spread your lies and false accusations and your trolling yeah, just spread their agenda that's not always correct. So, I mean, like our mind said, he stayed true to himself. He ignored it because it's not, you know, you don't want to entertain it. You don't want to entertain it. Also, I feel like if he doing him, what 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 people going to do? You know, it's like, I'm not entertaining you. Our money don't entertain it, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like bro get hate every day. He ain't about to entertain it all. He just don't got time for it. He could spend days in and out doing it. It don't benefit him at all. That's why he don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they said, if you ain't got haters, it's a problem. Shoot, I probably even got haters, but tuh, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> moving on. But yeah, don't entertain that Shazat. Yeah, don't entertain it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, another one was, how is LA coming along? And bro said he cooking in the studio. He got his daughter with him. You know, he just, you know, he said he ain't out there. Like, he ain't doing all that. You know, bro was cooking in the studio. Bro said he was, he had just left the studio at like 4 a.m. So it just shows my guy is working. Look, DT, now that makes sense when DT called and was like, yo, I'm tired. I'm like, bro. But yeah, that's valid. If you working, you know what I'm saying? Even like he had spoken, like, you know, just the development of the album. And he's like, it was like, it's like a him versus him. Well, our mind versus our money thing. And, like, I'm honestly excited to see it come together. I feel like we'll see his development as an artist within his first, like, you know, his EP. I feel like we'll definitely see his artist development. Because I don't know what songs. I don't. But, you know, I just feel like we've seen growth so far from Hold It Down to Vibe Check. You know, we just get a different vibe. It's something different every time we see him. Like I said, his, what do you call it, artist development. I feel like we've definitely seen it right in front of our eyes. I don't know. <laughs> right in front of our eyes. But yeah, it was just questions like that. Y'all gotta go tune in for yourselves and actually get the gist and fill my boy our money out because it probably sounds better coming from him than me doing this recap. But yo, like, I liked it. It was a Q&A. He said it's his first and last Q&A. Don't be sitting here asking him no more questions. Nah, I'm just playing. But yeah, it was dope. I enjoyed it, honestly. But yeah, y'all, like, you know, stay tuned. Our money cooking. Our mind is in LA. But yeah, y'all know the vibes as always. I love y'all and deuces.